is I'm with uh, I'm with uh, Mark Williams, and uh, he's from the from the Williams family, which and they're pioneer coasters. And, and Mark, you're you're about sixth generation or something, aren't you? Sixth generation, yes, yes, very proud of it too. Incredible. I've met your grandmother. In fact, I interviewed her once, right, Gillian. Yes. Lovely. And the thing I couldn't get over was how sharp she was. Eighty years old. And it's oh, sharp as a tank. It's amazing. We um, we don't let her on site anymore because she um, she actually runs circles around us. It's oh, it? embarrassing. Yeah, oh, I think great. that's yeah. I think it's great. <laughs> now, the, now uh, there's a lot of coasters uh, live in uh, Nelson. Huge number. Huge yes. number live in Canterbury. Yep. Now, when they come to the coast, uh, one of the most popular places for accommodation is actually the Ashley Hotel. Out at is it South Beach? It's out, or is, or is that Cororo? What do you? What you... Uh, Cororo. Yeah, right. which is just on the outskirts of Greymouth. That's right, yes. It's, um, it's going well, isn't it? Every time I drive past, there's cars for Africa there. Yeah, we, um, we're very proud of the Ashley Hotel. It is our, our flagship uh, property. Um, we've had it for about uh, 15, 20 years now, um, since I was a kid. But um, it's, a, it's a busy place, especially now. Um, there's a lot going on on the coast, so yeah, we're, uh, we're really enjoying it. We've, we've renovated it um, over the last couple of years. Um, so it looks it looks uh, very sharp. So what's the, what's the drive time from uh, Christchurch to Greymouth? Is it two and a half? Two and a half hours. Yeah, e an easy two and a half hours. It's a comfortable one, isn't it? It is now. Yes. You know, and and uh, and the accommodations there. When you get to Greymouth, choice of restaurants. You've got a restaurant at the Ashley. Yeah, a stunning restaurant there. Um, great food and beverage offerings, and wonderful chefs, and, and, and awesome service as well. So. Now, one of the things that I didn't know until recently was that. Uh, the Ashley, of course, is is really well known for conferences, yes, uh, and for for business groups and for um, and for commercial travellers. And I guess that's because you look after them. Yeah, um, we we love our corporate clientele, um, uh, some of which have been coming for a long, long time now. But um, we're set up really well with boardrooms, conference rooms, um, and, and private private settings as well. Um, so they, they enjoy that. I had a look at uh, I had a look at the boardroom the other day. The uh, I, I I must say I did name it Tony's boardroom. It is it's beautiful. It's got all the technology. It's private. You could meet in there. No one would know that you right. were you were there. That's right. And you've got private rooms as well, haven't you, for people to, if they want to have a meeting. We do. Yes. Um, just just for small meetings. Um, set up beautifully. Great decor. Um, yeah, it's, it's a stunning little spot. So in the two, Rimu 1 and Rimu 2, the two conference rooms, yes. how many people can you take there? We're about 100 people total um, uh, in there, so 50 in each room, yeah. uh, quite comfortably. Um, there's a bar set up in, on, uh, in Rimu 1, um, so we can host uh, any size function, really. And so if, if someone was coming with 100, uh, 100 people, have you got 100 beds? Yeah, easily, yeah. We have, uh, we have 60, 60 rooms, um, some of which are, um, are split. Um, Queens, yeah. so yeah, we, we can host large conferences. Well, I've, I know I've had the pleasure of being at, at several conferences here, and and the big thing for me is that just nothing goes wrong. You know, the food comes out on time, the coffee's always there, it's always continuous, and is that part of what real West Coast hospitality is about? I think so. I mean, we've been doing it a long time there, so um, we feel like we're, we're reasonably good at it. Um, but uh, all, all the guests seem to enjoy it. Uh, we're, we're very proud of how we operate. Well, there we go, uh, Coasters. I'm with uh, Mark Williams. He's from the Williams Hotel Group. And we're talking about the Ashley Hotel in uh, Greymouth. A brilliant spot. Anyone in the commercial sector, anyone that's coming over for a weekend. Mark, uh, bike cleaning facilities, we wouldn't have them there, would you? No. At, at Ashley? <laughs> no, we don't. And do you get many cyclists there? It's more a commercial... Yeah, more, more commercial side, but... And it's it's incredible, really. And Transalpine, a big impact on... Transalpine's been great, um, especially over the last school holidays. Uh, we've had a lot of people coming over from Canterbury and enjoying that trip. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're very lucky to have that. Actually, the school holidays, they absolutely staggered me. I, I couldn't get over yeah. how many no-vacancy signs were out, how many people from... Everyone I spoke to was from Christchurch. Yeah. And I've got to say that as a coast community, and, and like the Williams family, we, we appreciate it, don't we? We appreciate oh, the support we're getting. Very much so. It's um, it's very humbling, really. Um, a lot of people are supporting local, and um, and we're we've been you know, really excited to host them. It's uh, it's been good. Fantastic. Well, look, uh, coasters. It's uh, it's Mark Williams from the Williams family. 
Uh, they've got hotels in uh, Greymouth, Punakaiki, Christchurch, and of course, the uh, that beautiful Oak Ridge Resort in Wanaka. Um, Mark, thanks for your time. Thank you, Bruce. Really appreciate it. I know you're busy, but uh, it was important for me to catch up with you, and especially 15 metres from the beach, 40 metres from the blo from the Pancake Rocks. We're right in the middle of paradise here. We are. And we'll yeah. catch you later. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks for coming.